Hello everyone, welcome to Formula Story. Today I'm going to be discussing a method which will help us to calculate percentages really fast. So let's begin. Now suppose if I ask you to find the value of 78% of 250, then if you use the conventional method which is doing 78 by 100 into 250 will take a lot of time. And uh, let's look at this method which will help you to solve percentages in like pretty much less amount of time. In this method you got to do is uh, focus on 1%, 5%, 10%, 50% and 100% of each value that's given. So suppose 250 is our value here. So 1% of 250 is 2.5, 5% is 12.5, 10% is 25, 50% is 125 and 100% is 250. So we're going to make use of these percentages and use addition so as to find the value of 78% of 250. So let's look at this. So just a sec. Uh, you can write 78% as 10% into 7 plus 1% into 8, right? Uh, so 10% of 250 is so 25 into 7 will give us 175 plus 1% uh, of 250 is 2.5 into 8 will give me 20. So our answer will be 195. See, this wasn't the smartest way I could have distributed the percentages. You could have reduced the calculation a bit more by doing it this way. See, or you could have done it 10% into 8 minus 1% into 2. So 10% into 8 is 25 into 8 which will give me 200 minus 1% which is 2.5 into 2 which is 5 and that's 195 again. So see, this method is all about how smartly you can distribute the percentages and then all you need to do is add those percentages to get the value. So in my opinion, rather than using the conventional method, you can use this method and like calculate percentages in merely seconds. So let's take another example. Now suppose if I ask you to find the value of 91% of 680. Again, if you use the conventional method, which is doing 91 by 100 into 680, it will take you at least 10 seconds. So, as I said, using my approach, you need to distribute the percentages smartly. So, like, you could think of one distribution as doing 10% into 9 plus 1%, which will give you 91%. Or you could do it this way, which is a smarter way. Like, see, just a sec. You could write 91% as 100% minus 10%, which will give me 90 and plus 1% for 91 percent. Now 100 percent of 680 is the number itself. So 680 minus 10 percent which is 68 plus 1 percent which is 6.8. Okay so 680 minus 68 will give me 612 plus 6.8 will give me 618.8 which is our answer. So this method is all about how well you can distribute the percentages. See this writing this 100 minus 10 percent plus 1 to get 91 percent you need to do that all in your brain you need, you need not write that all you got to do is do this add addition and subtraction so that to get the final answer let's look at one last example so now if i ask you to find the value of 48 percent of 984 and if you use the conventional method it will be 48 by 100 into 984 and then you calculate that which will take you like at least 15 seconds so by using this method, as I said, you need to distribute the percentage smartly. So what this, what is the smartest distribution that you can think of? I guess you can do 50% minus 2%. Okay, 50% is 10% into 5 minus 1% into 2. See, in the exam, you need not write that because this your brain, once you practice, your brain will automatically form these percentages and these distributions. All you need to do is practice a bit of sums and see for this sum 50% of 984 will be half of it which will be 492 then 1% uh, into 2 which will be 9.84 into 2 which will be 19.68 and on subtracting these two we get the value as 472.32.
So in the exam, if you use this method, you can do this calculation in probably like five seconds rather than the conventional method, which will consume a lot of time. I would highly recommend to take five to 10 examples uh, based on this method and try and use different distribution of percentages. And once you do that, you'll become really efficient in th is this method and calculating percentages will be like matter of seconds. So that's it people, I will come up with more interesting videos, till then keep practicing and please like my video and subscribe to my channel and also post your valuable feedback so that I can improve at, at my upcoming videos. Thank you.